two feet long. <coughs> 24 inches. Extra, extra large. I think if he hits 26, 25, 26, and that's just about as big as they get. So, this guy is a big guy. You look at the board, and the board's got a million holes in it. <laughs> These holes here are just tail holes. That's how many times we put Martin on there. And God knows how many times those pins went back into the same hole. What is uh so the the board did have uh, seen a few Martin. I'm gonna see a few more too by the time I'm close. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. It's kinda dry. So I'm gonna stretch it back out a little bit. Plus I wanna get the fur away. You know, I'm pulling the fur back out of there. What they want, what they're looking at at the mark, what they're buying is they're, they're buying the back. The fur that's on the back of that Martin, right. that's where all the money is. Now he's lipless. So they so they dry underneath. So they'll dry underneath there. If you don't put them up somehow, and if you leave them down, when you're gonna turn that that all that fur will slip out of there if it doesn't dry. You'll, you'll, you'll have a badly damaged part. Here, this is all gonna dry. Because if it don't dry, it'll make like a hot spot or something and rot? Yeah, it'll rot, it, it, it's, it's gotta dry. If it doesn't dry right away, you know, because it's, it's still, if it stays moist, moist it, won't, it won't take long. One day, two days, that's it, it'll be finished. <clears throat> finish, finish. So, like this, it's all good to go. Hey. Thank God for uh looks like a fishing rod or something. I come out of a tent. Tent pole. Tent pole, yep. That's just for the air to get through underneath. No. Well it dries, it's tight. It's, so it stretches? It's it's yeah, it's uh, it's it's keeping <coughs> them open a little bit. So when we stretch him he, he's that size. Yeah, Cause I got a tournament. So when he's turning me that side, so after I turn him, I'm gonna put that back in again. So what do you do with him now? Like once he's... Well, we gotta let him dry. We gotta let that hide so dry. So you, you wouldn't take anything else off of it right now? No, Could just like that. Two feet long. But this year we're not trapping to make a living when we're just trapping for Try to stay in shape and try to keep
keep the ball rolling. Trying to keep the, the old man out. Okay. When I go to turn them, I won't put all those uh, those pegs back in. So you just use like a couple pins just to hold it on yeah, the back. Yeah, when when I go to put them, because <clears throat> it, it's going to, all the form is going to be made. It's going to dry like that, so it's going to stay like that. What I'm looking for here is this is the bottom of his tail, right here. There's the back of his tail. So make sure it's not twisted. It you could uh, you could even stretch your wolves with that. Just up when you're putting them in there, give it a little tap. You know, have a little uh, tack hammer. Give it a little tap. My fingers are probably going to be sore in hell tomorrow. Yeah, we're just kind of pulling it in there. Yeah. We want to. We want to make it nice and thick in the back. Why? So it, it all comes together and it's nice and thick. We turn it back. So it looks good. When we turn it on after, okay. you're going to see why. You're I, see gonna see what, I see what you mean. All your fur is going to be all nice there. But at this time of year, those, those marks, they, 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 they do good though, eh? So I see it's coming off like kind of easy or, or easier. Is that because it, you just thawed them out? What's that? All that fat, is it because of thaw? Because it froze once and it's starting to come off to hide a little bit? Oh no. It, it usually comes off like that? Yeah. When we skinned them, remember I told you that we're not going to fool around it? Yeah. We're going to take that off later? Yes. Yeah, this is later. And then, yeah, you don't want to touch a knife around there or nothing. So we just use. Uh, How long have you been using a butter knife then? What made me go to the butter knife is because it's got a little saw there. It's like a little saw, it's got teeth. That's and there's little like teeth. A little serrated a little bit? Right. And the one side is smooth and it's only got the, the serrated on one side. And that grabs, that grabs your... The pole helps you. Yeah. yeah. You could... Uh, it's not sharp. You don't have to worry about cutting the. You don't have to worry about cutting nothing. Everything comes off.
link on that one, Danny. Right? Hold on a second there. Twenty one and a quarter. And it's a male. So it's get him at twenty four. Well look at the difference. Yeah. Okay. And we'll rib away. So like I said, they'll hit twenty six inches. When we when we start seeing them at I think we're going to get it. I mark all my touches. Like we, like you know, when the old girls do and help me in. Yeah. So I got them all marked. Keep my markings. This is a brand new stretcher. There's a few holes in it. Got a few holes. Yeah. You can almost count how many marking it did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That bird had twenty-one just on that side. Got so many marks. And over here it's got here. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So I wouldn't be surprised if it did like forty marks already. And it's a brand new bird. <laughs> Yeah, make them out of that poplar underlay. You know, you use for the pouring it. Okay. That underlay. Soft, eh? Mm -hmm. And it holds it, uh, it's just the right thickness. That's why we're using it so it's soft. So you can just buy it and, you know. Get some more pins. You use the same pins for beaver, or would you use uh, no. nails? No. Yeah, we just use nails. Some people spread that tail out. Yeah. They'll stretch it out, yeah. you know. But once it's split, it's. Yeah, the air's gonna get in there and dry. There's not that much in there, anyway, is there? No. Okay, there. about the saddle. Mm -hmm. See we're taking it off there because it's thick and oily. And even if uh, even even if a little bit does stay there, this here butter knife chews it up, shreds it. Mm -hmm. 
So it, 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 it enjoys. In the trapping course, do they show that? No. A lot of people are going to see this and they're going to say, what? He uses a butter knife. He uses sticks. Oh, yeah. Then we'll use that butter knife to, use to butter a toast tomorrow. gonna dry on the outside and uh, that's when I take them off that stretcher when his ears are all dry dry I leave him on a stretcher till his ears are dry when his ears are dry dry take them off That's a female catcher. That's made out of cedar. Nice. See? A few holes in that one. Yeah. I have lots of like that. Big ones, little ones, small ones. And all handmade. So you when you when you, you cut them, you cut them in that angle, you cut them in at that specific grade, like that's a that's a special specific board. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> do you have a template? No, I don't use a template. I just use size uh, so far down and not the shoulders. Okay. So I'll, I take it from there and I, I take it from down like that. <coughs> and some of them, I, I bought some like bottom ones, so I just trace them. Yes, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. just take one, just yeah. retrace and it. And yeah, uh, some of them I trace them. Some of them, if I didn't <coughs> have it, you know, yeah. I just measure it, measure the class so far down, measure the class. Then I'd mark it right there, you know, put a line on the, down the center, then so far on each side of my line, right, you know, at the, at the shoulders, yep. like, yep. so far right there, then I'd mark it. Then I go from there. Then the, the bottoms are all the same width, like four inches, like this is the female. And the bottoms are all the, all the same. Two and a half. So even right here at the, at the bottom. See? Right there, two and a half. But there's two and a quarter. It could be two and a quarter there. It wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, yeah. Two and a quarter. That's the same. <coughs> This is the mail. Okay. 
and some of these boards are a little thinner, so I made them a little wider because they're thinner. Telling me to go to bed at 10 o'clock. I got it set for 10 and it goes up at 6. So the kids will get late to school. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm moving the hair so I could see that right at the edge. Right? Sometimes it's it's a little wet or something it sticks there, but now I can see the edge good. So when I go to measure it, I just got it snug. It's not like you know you, you don't see me yanking away on it, right? Yeah, not trying to over stretch right. it. Right. So it's it's that's <clears throat> it. It's on there, you know. That's it. Right there. For somebody who's never done this pinning, you're looking. I see you pulling and putting, putting a pin. That's just you're just because you have pins on one side and on the other side. You're just putting it so it's snug. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Look at the angle they're all at. that angle out of known but you can, you can see they're all the they're all they're all the see yep. the angles I put them on. Yep. First won't be long to be able to know all my tricks. That's why I don't have to push it in so hard eh? Yeah. Put on an angle a little bit. It stays there better. These ones here, just bringing it in, that's all. I'm not even touching nothing. Just bringing it in. <laughs>
Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. yeah. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bigger than him on that stretcher. Oh, 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 oh. And on this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because you got 14 bigger than you had on that stretcher. Yeah, bigger than this one. And this one again, I bet you he's in the 22 inch range. 22. So you'd be like an extra, extra large. I think. You're going to touch the mighty? That's got a scent gland right there. See it's right there? Mm -hmm. That's a scent gland. Right there. See it comes out right there. I can tell when they're going to start to make that sun gland start to get big. And they're going to start to make pretty soon. It's going to be happy times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go wrong. A message to your madness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a matter of waiting and waiting and and, uh, and see what happens. Like it's, it's kind of neat trapping these new spots. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't work. Uh, you know. But you get to when you're going through the bush like that. Oh, well, you get to know after you see the pockets of where they where they are and where where they're not are. <laughs>